Buenos dias, senhores, senhoritas, senhorinas, or anybody else out there. Basically, uh, we are on number five now, so I hope that you've been practicing numbers one, two, three, and four of the seated Bhagavan carefully and diligently, paying attention to the detail. Okay, we're on number five. Number five is called Searching the Ground and Clouds. Now, I want you to understand this principle here. Imagine that this pen is the spine, right? Your spine. That's the very tip of the tailbone. That's the head. Or anything, if you like, above the shoulders. What we're going to do is to move from this lower part of the back only. So we're only going to bend from that point there, whether we move sideways, forwards, or whatever. And this is going to be like this point here is where you're going to pivot and when you move your head forwards the tailbone sticks out the opposite direction if you move sideways again the tailbone sticks out in the opposite direction now <laughs> that's as good an analogy as you're going to get without me actually having a skeleton here so Make do. Remember, you're only pivoting from the lower back. In other words, you're holding the rest of the spine straight. Not rigid or tense, but you're holding it straight. Okay, here we go. Get rid of my prop. Exercise number five, searching the ground and clouds. It's called searching the ground and clouds for a good reason, because we look down as though we're looking for something on the ground. And then when we get around to this point here, it's like we're looking underneath a cloud. It's almost like you've, you've bent forwards to duck underneath a very low cloud and you're then twisting the spine to look up and see what's underneath the cloud. Very simple. We start off, as usual, with the hands here. Remember that we're closing off the energy channel so that we're not leaking out chi, so to speak. We've got the feet shoulders width apart. Obviously if you're in a bed then your feet are going to be sticking out straight in front of you like so and you'll have to improvise with the forward bending movements but what we're going to do is have our hands leaning on our thighs. We're not going to have the hands as I explained in the next video, we're not going to have the hands here because when we lean forward it provides like a like a leaf spring on a car, on a car suspension system. You don't know what a leaf spring is, right? okay? <laughs> it provides a bow spring, if you like, and when you lean forward, you start to create resistance in the shoulders, and we don't want tension or resistance in the shoulders. We want to be kind of open and relaxed. So we're going to take the hands from here. We're going to turn them over. We're going to place them on the upper thigh. They can move. The spine can still twist and turn. The shoulders are relaxed. The elbows are relaxed. You are not holding your arms rigidly. The exercise begins, and make sure that you do watch first to understand what you're supposed to be doing. Make sure that you exhale as you bend forwards. Searching the ground. And then you twist your spine, or rotate your spine, clockwise, so that you're looking underneath the cloud. The shoulders are still relaxed at this point, and then you roll back through the centre, and then roll back the other way, letting the spine twist anti-clockwise, as though you're looking underneath the cloud, and then you come back in through the middle. Okay, the breathing for this is very important. Remember that you should never hold your breath in or breathe in when you're compressing the lung space. So we begin with hukal, tiger mouth, on the upper leg. Shoulders relaxed, eyes gazing at the horizon eight miles ahead. And then we exhale as we lean forwards. Again, watch and learn rotate the spine and when we get to this point we can inhale because the lungs are not restricted exhale as you roll forwards around to the right side 
and then again exhale as you come to the full position and when you finish you will sit up straight and breathe in centering your chi at the dantian as usual staying calm centered relaxed and then replacing your hands like so are we clear on that if you want to pause then by all means hit that pause button practice or review what you've already seen and then come back to try the exercise with me are we ready okay hopefully you'll know what you're doing by now we begin two sequences left and right which means we can do two more finish the full sequence left and right we come in through the middle inhale center the chi at the dantian staying calm centered and relaxed and then come back to oh if you like neutral stance or wu chi As I said, it's very important that you do the exercise properly. You don't want any tension in the body and you want to move only from the lower back so you're strengthening that spine. A lot of people who are in the position of having to use wheelchairs or who are confined to bed will have a weak back. So always, always start gently, increase gradually only when you feel fit to do so. Never push yourself beyond the limits. Always work within your limits. It's like climbing a mountain, one little step at a time, one little step at a time. You'll find that by the time you get to six months down the line, you will be stronger, you will be able to do your exercises eight times each way or each side and you will feel more benefits from them. See you in exercise number six. Adios amigos.